Marvel Spider-Man has been a game that I have absolutely and utterly adored for so long now, and it has always been a goal of mine to get it platinum. And about five months ago, that's exactly what I did. And this is a new series that I'm going to start doing, talking about my journey and exploration getting platinum on games, 100%ing games and overall discussing games that I absolutely love and the journey of me completing them. And this first one is Marvel Spider-Man, the first game that I ever got platinum on PlayStation. Now this game came out in 2018 and I got it uh, during Christmas of 2018 and I absolutely loved it. I was in love and I've always liked Spider-Man but not as much as up to this point. When I first played this game, I fell in love with Spider-Man, Mary Jane. This entire universe and Insomniac built out inside of this one game was just awesome. I never beat it though. I got pretty far in the game throughout late 2018 to 2019, but I eventually stopped playing PlayStation because my PlayStation was having issues and never got to the ending, sadly. I got really close, but never did. And then when the PS5 came out, and yes, I do own a PS5, I got Spider-Man Miles Morales complete with the remastered version of Marvel's Spider-Man. And I wanted to uh, finally get Platinum on this game because seriously, I feel like I owed it to myself to 100% this game, even though at first I didn't realize I wanted to. I just slowly started to over time getting all the achievements slowly and then realizing I could actually do this. I've never, I mean, I've always been the person to hunt achievements, always, but I've never, I've always wanted to, but just never found the dedication to really complete a game all the way because they always seem so hard. And this game was the exception because this game had very fair achievements, none that were extremely hard or unfair or ones you had to play in some dead, on, dead online mode, something stupid like that. You didn't have to do that. So I took it as a challenge to get 100% on Marvel Spider-Man and we're going to go over all the achievements. Well, not all the achievements, but like the ones that are noteworthy and I want to discuss and which ones were the hardest, which ones were the easiest, and which ones were just overall the most fun. So we're going to get into that and discuss today, Marvel Spider-Man. And I'm doing this entire thing freestyle, so I hope you enjoyed that little intro. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. You want to know something, people? I am a sucker for collectibles. And you know what game has a lot of collectibles? Marvel Spider-Man. Like seriously, this game has a whole bunch of stuff to collect. It is a collectathon, and I adore that. Like seriously, I love collecting things. I like collecting things in games. I like collecting Steam trading cards. And I love collecting things in real life and loading up my shelves, as you can see in my GFU reviews. So of course, you know I really enjoyed gay collecting everything inside of Marvel Spider-Man. I need to start to stop saying Marvel Spider-Man. There's no other Spider-Man. But seriously, I really enjoy collecting things inside of this game, and there's a lot of it, and that does count towards the trophies happily, luckily, awesomely, so let's get into it. The first main one that I can think of is the backpacks. The backpacks are one of the main tokens that you can get inside of the game for upgrading your abilities, for getting new costumes, for all that stuff, and also with the backpacks, you get a little item because uh, Peter's leaving all these backpacks around NYC uh, for, I, I don't know, just like stuff that he's collected over the years, like little things. And what's really fun about these is that he always has a little backstory of all the things. Like, oh, uh, this is uh, the menu that me and MJ looked at on our first date. Or, oh, this is a piece of the Vulture suit. Or, oh, this is uh, a little business card from Daredevil. You know, they have all these little things that build up the universe around the game. You know, like, oh, you know, like, you know, other characters inside of the Marvel Universe, which is really cool, and I definitely do appreciate that. So, collecting backpacks is really fun. It's a fun collectible, and seriously, sitting through it and listening through all the commentaries, like, oh man, this is this, and it's fun. I really enjoy doing that. So, collecting backpacks was definitely a must for me at first, uh, getting them all, because originally, when I first played this game, I got close, but no cigar. And now, I have all the backpacks, or when I get beat this game, I had all the backpacks. And seriously, it was a lot of fun. Another thing that you have to collect or more find are these little cat figures, statues, plushes. I don't know what to call them, but they are for the black cat, obviously. Black cat, 
black cat. Peter Zach's Felicia is hiding around all these little cat drone thingies that are helping her. Yeah. I don't really know, to be honest. I can't really remember, but they're just things that you have to take photos of because Peter's a photographer, and there's these little tripod camera setups that you have to basically look through, kind of like rear window, and find the black cat statue figure plush, the, the statues. And with collecting all of those, you get points, I'm pretty sure, too, and also a really cool bonus suit, which is awesome. Yes, swag. And as well, you have landmarks because New York City has lots of bridges, buildings, statues, parks, lots of things like this. And taking pictures of them earns you landmark points that you can use towards suits, gadgets, and skills, of course. So yeah, that's another sort of collectible, you know, taking pictures and stuff. It's fun. Uh, the photo mode, too, is just cool to use in general. You know, you get some cool pics and stuff, you know, really nice. But yeah, um, also, too, you can, you know, um, do all the surveillance towers so you can find all of these. I don't know why I'm putting this under here. It's not really a collectible. You're just literally turning on surveillance towers, basically like turning on unlocking the map, like collecting maps, basically. And I'm just going to put under this because, hey, it kind of counts. And as well with that Taskmaster, yes, that Taskmaster, is leaving tasks around for Peter to do. Now there's four different ones. There are the fighting tasks, there are the bomb tasks, there are the stealth tasks, and the drone tasks. And doing all these are new challenge points. And... Skills, gadgets, and suits. That's what they go for. I didn't even finish that sentence because you should have filled it in for me. That's what they're for. And that's what you... Oh, man. Sorry about that. Random cutoff there. That G feel seriously gets in the way of me talking. And, man, you don't want to hear burping. That's unprofessional. We're trying to be professional here today. So, yes. Doing all these earns you challenge points that you can use towards skills, gadgets, and suits. Which is, of course, one of the main trophies. Unlocking all the skills unlocking all the suits, and doing all of this stuff, you can 100% complete all the districts, which is also including side quests, fighting, just normal crime, and doing the bases, which we'll cover in a minute. But those are the main collectibles in this game that I can think of. We also do have research stations, which are okay. They're fun, sort of. I don't really... They're, 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 they're not bad, but they're near the bottom in this sort of game. They're not terrible. They're not bad. They're good. Just not great like some of the other collectibles. And you know what? I don't really mind all of them. They're just sort of... Just... Yeah. But yes, those are the collectibles inside of Marvel Spider-Man that I can think of. There's definitely some other ones, but these are the main ones. Because hey, that's what we're here to cover today, people. We're not here to cover Greeting Ten Citizens. Because yes, that seriously is a trophy. Oh man, any excuse for me to talk about the story I am in. Alright, so the story inside of Marvel Spider-Man is great, which by the way, you actually know, I will not be spoiling it. Um, <laughs> so this story is great. I love how it doesn't base it off of any comic series, any movie series, any show, anything. It creates its own little thing in this little universe, I would say, or just, you know, its own little story using Spider-Man's bait, like, you know, Spider-Man, you know, you have Spider-Man, you have Mary Jane, you have the villains, you have all the, your normal Spider-Man things, but I just love, you know, just voice actors, the characters, I just love everything about that. It is so much fun. So, got me so hooked. I seriously wanted to find out, like, what happens next, even though, you know, it's nothing super, like, oh my god, that's gonna, you know, you, you know, Spider-Man's gonna save Mary Jane. You know that, you know, I, I, I don't know, Dr. Octopus is gonna turn, you know, he's gonna turn bad. Whatever, what's his name? I can't remember. I'm doing this off the top of my head. Um, you know things like that are going to happen, but it's the things after that. The suspense. The, the the sadness of some parts. Seriously, this game got me... Actually, no. Actually, yeah, I think I did tear up a little bit. This game was pretty great. The story was great. And there's a lot of it, just trophies along with that. Just for, you know, going through the game. You know, defeating certain villains. Uh, going through certain acts in the game. And overall, you know, just playing through it. And there's some side quests and stuff. You know, they have these corrupted student missions when... And you have to go around and hunt them down after that. So that's a little thingy. You know, you got to do some little side quests there. 
Um, other side quests like that I can think of. Oh, also Tombstone. That is optional and fun. I do like that. It was kind of a fun thingy. I, I enjoyed it thingy. It was, it was fun. Um, I enjoyed that, you know, completing all the side missions. That's another trophy. You know, your simple trophies, you know. Um, also miscellaneous ones I can finally include in here. Perching atop Avengers Tower. It's it's cool, you know. Hey, that that is you know it, it's that it's a good it, it fits. Uh, paying respects at Ben Parker's grave, another great one. Um, <laughs> oh man, traverse across the city rooftops. Okay, it's 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 I don't know how to really describe this one. I mean, it's not it's you know you you you, 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 you do it, you do it, yeah. Um, I have to say that I really enjoyed going through the story, and I had a lot of fun with the boss fights in this game. And hey, I'm really excited to see what happens in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Not Miles Morales! That's not 2, it's more like 1.5. In 2, I wonder what villains they're gonna get, I wonder what's gonna happen next. I'm really excited for the story, I think that it is great. And the DLC especially tackles some other stuff and makes it even greater. Is that even greater? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Even greater. Pull up in a whip, feeling good, feeling out the hood, feeling getting money like a real one should. I'ma take a sip. Okay, so this one ties with collectibles. I absolutely love going through the bases. They were probably one of my most favorite parts of this game. It was so much fun. You have all these bases around the map. You have one for Sable, you have one for Fisk, you have one for the demons, and you have one for the prisoners. And all these sort of factions, as I like to call them, have hideouts, bases, outposts, warehouses. And you have to basically, you can either sneak in and do it, or you go in fighting, and you take out every single wave of enemy that comes. And it's really addicting with the combat system inside of Spider-Man, which is just so much fun. With all the gadgets, all the abilities, fighting all of these villains, not villains, grunt, the, the goons, you know, you, you're fighting off the criminals. It's fun. It's seriously fun. Um, I can't pick which one was my favorite. Actually, no, I can. The Sable Outpost was definitely the most challenging, and with that, it was one of my favorites. Uh, the rest of them are pretty similar, just different, you know, weapons and different, you know, yelling at you. Some of them yell at you and like Asians, some of them just yell at you like New Yorker. And yeah, the other ones yell at you like a New Yorker too. So yeah, um, it's fun. I really enjoy doing this. Some of my most fondest moments in this game were listening to albums that I absolutely loved, like listening to um, Young Sinatra, listening to My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, and just beating the hell out of these, mm, beating the hell out of them. It was so much fun and I will never forget those moments. Also, now thinking about it, getting that 100 combo trophy was definitely a hard one, but I got it. And if you're also wondering why in the hell do I sound like this compared to my really nice mic, usually, is because I'm recording this inside of a Denny's bathroom. And yes, that's why I sound like this. And yes, I wish I had a mic with me right now. And yes, I need to get out of here. Oh my God, there's people What are you coming. still doing in that store? Oh man, it was just some song synced up perfectly with it. And I had so much fun doing that. And there's also one to complete every single objective in the base as they do have side objectives that you can do with that. Like for example, uh, get it, knocking out five, because you don't kill, you don't kill. Spider-Man doesn't kill, he's like Batman. Uh, knocking out uh, five enemies um, with this certain gadget or you know, stealthily knocking out 10 or you know, things like that. They have all these little side things. So that's another reason to do it. And you don't have to do that in all of them, but I sure as hell did, because it was so much fun and any excuse to freaking play those again, hell yeah, I'm in. I'm seriously in. You know it's not over once you beat the game because of course you have different difficulty options and a new game plus mode and you know to be efficient even though I honestly would have played this game 10 different times um, I did both of these inside of one playthrough um, completing new game plus and also completing the game on ultimate difficulty and I have to say that playing the game on ultimate difficulty and new game plus isn't really that hard it's just basically like playing through the game on a slightly, like, you know, just more of a, you know, just fixed 
to your ability playthrough because you now in New Game Plus have all of your suits, all of your gadgets, all your abilities, and you're fighting through the weak enemies in the beginning. But in Ultimate, you're fighting through, you know, just like near the end of the game. It's like slightly stronger than that. So it's not super hard. And honestly, I kind of want to play through the game now on Ultimate from the beginning, like without doing, you know, just both of these in one because it makes it a lot easier. But I definitely had a lot of fun playing through this game on New, Pl game, New Game Plus, and I started just doing the side quests out of just habit because it's just so much fun, so much fun. And man, saying this makes me want to play the game again, but seriously, oh man, this game was a lot of fun, guys, and I definitely recommend it. And I'm pretty sure that's all of them. That equals up to a platinum. Of course, there's other trophies I'm not mentioning, like greeting 10 citizens around New York City, you know, you can do that, uh, completing all the optional projects in the lab. I'm not here to talk about every single nitty gritty one, I'm talking about the most noteworthy ones here, most interesting ones, you know, like chaining a whole bunch of tricks together, Spider-Man, that was fun, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, performing 75 stealth takedowns, yeah, that was fun. Um, uh, 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 riding the subway five times, yeah, yeah. Oh god, I forgot there's DLC in this game. All right, so the DLC is not mandatory to get platinum, but I just wanted to anyways. Actually, yeah, I don't think it is mandatory to get platinum. I'm pretty sure it's not. But I really wanted to play through the DLCs because I never did originally when I first played this game. So it was definitely so much fun to play through these. And playing through the heist was a lot of fun, you know, getting you know to know Felicia, the black cat, a bit more. And I also enjoyed the crime, you know, fighting some more crime in the districts. That was always fun, you know. Um, I love how, too, that in each DLC, it, you know, kind of explores a certain district. You know, like the top, middle, bottom, as I like to call them. You know, you don't have to complete, uh, you know, complete all districts, meaning every single one, just like a few, you know, for this DLC. And getting 100% of this was fun. And also getting spectacular and all the screwball challenges. I love screwball. She is the, the perfect meme. I adore screwball. And hey, me, me and screwball should be besties. Because come on, we both got that quirky, insane personality. Come on, screwball. Let's be friends. Yes. Uh, Turf Wars. That one was fun too. It's a little serious at first, you know. Uh, big sad to one of the cops who dies. R.I.P. Um, but, um, it, yeah, that was, uh, f fun, I I'm trying to think, but yeah, oh yeah, and there was also the, 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 more of the base fighting, with that was fun too, you know, fighting the hammerhead, uh, goons inside of those, like, classy looking bases, that was really fun, seriously, and getting more screwball challenges, also fun, yes, but yeah, uh, Turf Wars was fun, uh, and then finally, Silver Lining. This one had an ending I was not expecting, and I'm not going to spoil it, but damn, I was not expecting that. And getting spectacular and all the screwball, screwball, getting spectacular and all the screwball challenges, of course. And catching screwball. We need a bill. We need to bail our boy out. Screwball, I'm coming for you. I'm going to save you. But yeah, uh, that was another really fun one with Sable, Sable Returns. And it was really fun. I, I, I enjoyed this one too. Um, out of all of them, I have to say that I think maybe the heist was my favorite just because of the sort of setting at night with the lights. It was really fun. Uh, but all of them I love. They're all great. And I can't, I, I think that might be my favorite. But seriously, I can't pick a favorite. And man, this game is wrapped up now with some great DLC, some great trophies, and some great content overall. All right, people, to be honest with you, I seriously forgot to record this part when I was originally recording this video. And it's important because when you 100% a game, you should be rewarded inside of the game and not just on the platform. And Spider-Man does have some completion bonuses for completing it. And the main one is this cute outfit, Spider-Man in his undies. It's probably what he wears in bed with Mary Jane. And you know what? It's special, you know, it's cool to have. I mean, I don't know what you can really do with it, I guess, besides New Game Plus. And going back and, you know, 
fighting the bases again and stuff like that, you know? It's it's cool. I do like it. I think it's really funny. And it is sort of from a mission, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was in one of the missions. I can't remember exactly. And I'm not going to dig through it just to put it on the screen right now. If I seriously do that, I am a fiend and I'm not getting sleep. But it's cool. I do definitely enjoy this as a bonus. It's funny. And it definitely makes a good thumbnail for PlayStation Grenade. And yeah, that's a, that, that was a, I, I don't know what that was. Not a diss. I mean, I like him. But yeah. Um, also, you get to control the time and I think weather? I'm pretty sure just time inside of the research stations for the whole map. I don't know why it said inside of the research. You go to the research stations and you can change the weather. And it's honestly a really cool feature if you want to get those nice, nice night shots. You want to just play at night and, you know, just, I guess, you know, web around. It's nice. I really like it. And it definitely helped for this video. Definitely love this. And I think overall these are some very nice completion bonuses. I'm pretty sure that's both of them. If, I, if there's something else and I forget, I'm going to be really mad at myself for just, you know, putting it on screen or definitely really recording over this part right there if there was nothing over that then you know that there's nothing else that i can that there is that's super major so those are the completion bonuses and honestly not bad pretty solid and a fun little bonus besides the platinum trophy which is just so sexy seriously i have to say i love this game i absolutely adore this game and i cannot wait for them to make a second marvel spider-man until then i'm definitely playing through this a few more times and i definitely recommend you play it if you have not already i know some of you have you've told me on my live streams that you've also gone for platinum and i definitely recommend it it's a lot of fun it's not super tedious it's maybe you find it but i honestly didn't i found nothing about this tedious i found it very fun it would honestly go for this platinum many more times to go now we do have the sequel, the 1.5 as I like to call it, Marvel's Spider-Man of Miles Morales, which we'll be covering next time or whenever I do this again. I hope you all enjoyed this little series. I have a lot of these to do because I have a lot of Platinums I've been going for and are still, and are still going for. Resident Evil Village is up next, so seriously, stay tuned for more of these. Let me know if you enjoy them down below, and yeah. Um, I have some really funny stories coming up with some of these trophies, and I'm really excited to tell them. Anyways, I'll see you all later. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and remember, you only live once. See you guys, and I cannot wait for you to see what's next on this series. Miles Morales, we're coming for you. I mean, I already got it, but we're coming for you anyways.